Yeah. That's all that matters, chat. Uh, good job, team. We got Farina. Good job, everybody. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All it took was me to cough up some blood. I didn't actually cough up blood. That's a joke, chat. I didn't actually cough up blood. I'm good, I promise. That was an exaggeration. I'm good, I promise. <laughs> I just got in. Have you pulled Farina? No, I've told chat that I would only pull for Farina if we get to uh, the 75 sub goal. Uh, it's something I'm just starting to do. Uh, so yeah, am I right, chat? Press 1 in chat if you agree with me. That's what I said, right? The wind rises. <laughs> you should legit do that. Maybe next time. Look, if we make it to 75 subs, I'll I'll drop another hundred dollars and pull for Farina. All right, and thus the new quest begins. C6, not on your life. Some time has passed since the incident in the fortress of Miropied. I was reading that. After breakfast. <sighs> this is the life. Why are we here? That that's my million dollar question. Why are we here? Wait a sec. Is something important supposed to happen today? Did I did I miss the memo? Oh, today's our big day. We're supposed to leave the fortress of Mary. Oh! Come on, we wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We were supposed to be here the whole time? I thought we were scot-free. Damn. Anyway. Oh, by the way, chat, before I forget, um, I want to I wanna uh, give a shout out again. Uh, I've done it twice already, but we've talked about this, uh, g uh, these Genshin theories. Um, I, I want to give a proper shout out. Her TikTok name is Nachan. And apparently... I met her at Anime Pasadena. I think... I, I remember there was a cosplayer. I don't know if they were dressed... I, I want to say it was the one dressed in Albedo. But I was like, oh, their face looks familiar. Have I met them? Oh, well. It might have been them. But uh, apparently, she reacted to me talking about her. And I thought it was really sweet. So, But yeah, if you want to know who's the one that does all the... They were Ito! They were the... Okay. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have registered then. They, they just responded to me saying they were the Ito. I would not have... They were in the full wig and everything. Yeah, damn. Damn. Yeah, I do remember that Ito. Because they were with their friend. Um, but yeah, if you want to watch, uh, uh, watch who they are, they go by Nachon. N-A-C-C-H-A-N on TikTok. They made some really good theories. <laughs> Hydrate? I should. But yeah, I just wanted to say that now before I forget. Anyway. We will resume the story now. <laughs> the Masquerade of the Guilty. You could say the only guilty party is the Oratrice Mechanique Denalise Cardinal. Chad, I'm sorry. I, I just love saying the Oratrice Mechanique Denalise Cardinal. The Oratrice Mechanique Denalise Cardinal. Oratrice Mechanique Denalise Cardinal. Oratrice Mechanique Denalise Cardinal. Oratrice Mechanique Denalise Cardinal. Oratrice Mechanique Denelise Cardinal. Oratrice Mechanique Denelise Cardinal. Can you tell I'm sick? <laughs> oh, they didn't chat? Wait, are they really? I will remove France. Sylvie. Sylvie, relax. Please sign here. This document will be effective immediately upon signing. We need the Sino version of this. Of the Sino version is Oratrice Mechanique Denelise Cardinal. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It, it, it would make it would be something about 
Sumeru. Genius Invocation TCG. Nah. Uh, Sano doesn't have anything in comparison to the Oratrice Mechanique Denali's card now. Anyway, focusing on the story. Focus up, chat. Focus up. It's been so long since we've been to the surface. Let's hurry up and... Whoop. Damn, that was quick. Uh, what's happening? Oh, is that, uh, Primordial Sea Latch finally exploding? No, I'm, I'm sick tired. That's what's happening. I'm fine, thanks. But I wonder what that tremor was just now. Uh, let's go ask the Duke. Let's go ask the Duke. I think I know. A new life's beginning. Can I read that? Oh, yeah. Uh... Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? There it is. An exit card issued by the Fortress of Miropede. Miropide. It's just a piece of paper, but it has been given a name most heartening. Oh, you're sick too? Man, I'm tired. I can't believe you got me sick from the con. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, first time catching one of your streams. Hope you're not too ill. It's literally just a cold. I'm okay. I just need to rest. Oh, yeah. Did you guys hear that there's a live-action Legend of Zelda movie coming out? And uh, I can't believe Tom Holland is going to be Link. Honestly, what they should do... What they should do is probably get someone who's uh, androgynous. Yeah, it's being made by the guy that produced Morbius. So I have no faith in it. Um... But, uh, I hope they at least for Link. People were saying they should make Link mute. Oh, Wi-Fi connection lost. Chat, do you still see me? I'm still live, right? PlayStation, what the fuck? <laughs> Dear Lord. Anyway. Let's just proceed before any other ridiculous stuff happens. Hey, think of the 16 months. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Who isn't sick? Zelda Williams should be in that movie. He, she should be in that movie 100%. Ah, good to see you two. Is there something you wish to see me about? Yeah, I wish to grab you by the tie and give you a smooch. I mean, hey, there was a rumbus. There, there was a rumbling. Yeah, what was with that earthquake just now? Ah, that. The tremor didn't originate from the seafloor. In fact, it seems it came from the surface. Oh. Over the years of serving as the warden here, I have developed a sense for distinguishing between what occurs on the surface and what occurs underwater. Besides, the seal that Monsieur Nuvillette set in place won't fail so easily. Okay. So the fortress is okay? Rumbling. Rumbling. If you recall Tumbling. The last incident, if there really were a problem, there would be crowds of inmates in a panic right now. True. Huh. You've got a point. Okay, still haven't done the chasm quest. Fair. To the surface and ask about what happened. Uh, by the way, do you know what day it is today? Hmm. My birthday. I believe today is this month's pipe cleaning day. Actually, chat. My birthday isn't today, but it is next week on the fifteenth. So uh, don't forget it. Get me something nice, okay, chat? Wait, seriously? Uh, actually, today is the day we say goodbye to the fortress. Ah, yes. Have you completed your release papers? Uh, I got my little old card. Yeah, we're leaving this place, Sijween. We That's hate it here. Today is our last day in prison. But now that Paimon says that, it doesn't feel like we were confined here. It's uh, actually been pretty nice. Yeah, a lot of people have helped us out. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paimon feels fond of this uh, place now. Well, then be sure to come back and visit. I'll miss you. I mean, I've been in and out of this you place like crazy the in the last month. You're free to go. The guards will escort you out. What guard? Wow, Risley. I thought we were more than that. <laughs> I knew you'd ask. All right, sure. Yay! Well, Where's Child? Child's in the abyss. It's I fine. Know, Chris, you must be busy. Paimon was just joking. 
Child's hanging out with narwhals. Ah, so you do narwhals, have a narwhals, side, da -da 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 narwhals. <laughs> After being down here for so long, I imagine you must feel like you're lacking companionship. Shall so I come along off. too? See, doing dead ass. We just saw Nuvilet yesterday. We're fine. Yeah. Tutti right, Luki. Thank you for the four you. months. Uh, Paima really likes the cafeteria here. The chefs sure do know how to make good grub. I hope you won't be here as convicts the next time I see you. We'll do our best to stay out of trouble. Well, it seems our work in the Fortress of Miravine is finished. Chat, were we supposed to do? Chat, were we supposed to do Nouvellet's story before coming to the Fortress of Miropede? No, right? Because we got Nouvellet when we... Nouvellet came out the patch when we were supposed to do the Fortress of Miropede. This story doesn't make sense. They... Okay. So then, canonically, we should have done... Nouvellet's story after this is all I'm saying. We should probably go report to him now. I'm trying to make sense of it like how we were able to get it in and out of the prison if we were supposed to still be in the prison is what I'm saying. Please pass on our kind regards. Oh, don't worry. I got a little ditty for him that I'm sure he'll love. I'm sure just your regards will do, no? I believe it would be the polite thing to do. I know the stories are set up so you can do it before or after. What I'm saying is, it's weird to me that Nouvellet's story is unlocked after you do uh, the last Archon quest. And the last Archon quest ends with you being stuck in the prison. Like, it makes sense to do Nouvellet's story after you get out. That is why I had the thought, it's like, oh, we're not stuck in the Fortress of Miropede. Because literally, just the other day, we were walking around going all over the place like it was fucking nothing that's what i'm getting at and yes i get it but well you're allowed to leave. we aren't allowed to leave we aren't though because we were supposed to give the impression that we were inmates that was the whole thing you're right i've heard the palais has been terribly busy these days he, Tell him moral of the story overwhelmed by the chat moral troubles. of the story Moral of the story, I'm overthinking it, and I'm trying to, how does this make sense plot-wise? It literally doesn't matter. It legitimately does not matter. It's a fucking game. You're just supposed to enjoy the goddamn story. Like, that's all that matters. Enjoy your time in class. Also, I don't know why that reminded me. Hey, Sylvie, don't forget to do that one uh, clip with the class and the sound effect thing. If you're concerned about things at the Palais, why don't you take some time to go up and check things out? Mm. I believe you should still have some vacation time to spend. Vacation. Thank you for being so understanding. It means a lot. It's been some time since I've gone to the surface. I must say that I've started to miss it a little. I thought we were free to leave. No, we weren't. That was the thing. Uh, well, dope. All right. Let's go see our father. God, my voice sounds like shit. It sounds like I'm sick. That's why I canceled all, all my sessions. It sounds like I'm sick and I didn't want to get anyone infected. Oh, man. Mr. Six, feel better. Hey, Proto Wave, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it is uh, jam packed today. Oh, what's going on? Oh, uh, it's you two. <laughs> Apologies. Monsieur Nirvillette did say you'd be welcome at any time. That's right. We're here for the water tasting competition. I'm here to prove that once and for all that Arrowhead is worse than Dasani. <laughs> Excuse me, would you mind helping me take a look at this report? Shut up, Isadora. I'll be right there. Sorry, I've got my hands full here, but you can see yourselves in. I sure can. Everyone's so busy. Seems a lot has been happening. Yeah, no, Amethyst. My my plot my point today was literally doing the story 
so then people can stop trying to spoil it for me. Hello. You've come at the right time, but you'll have to wait for just a moment, as there are some urgent matters I must tend to first. Like what? Like what? In the meantime, please, have a seat. If you'd like to have something to drink, let the melusine outside know. I would like your finest water from the Liyue. I want that earthy Very taste. Well. Take a break. <gasps> My voice sounds like crap. <laughs> All right. I should wrap things up for now. Are you done with your work? Are you finished with those errands? Yes, sorry to keep you waiting. You're finished with those errands? Are you finished with those errands? Today should be the day you were released from the fortress of Meripede. And it appears that you've managed to complete all the release paperwork. I mean, hence why That's I'm right. here. And we came here to see you right away! You and Paimon tell Nuvel that everything that happened since Primordial Sea incident- hmm. a massive whale. That is what Do I saw. Do you have any idea what that might be? Try the Ray Chase voice while you're a little lower. The Oratrice Mechanique Denali's cutting now. Judging from your description- Judging from your description- ordinary waters. But rather something like the primordial sea. That cannot have occurred in any ordinary waters, but rather something like the primordial sea. Oratrice Mechanique Denali's Cardinal. There you go. Now subscribe, please. <laughs> oh man. A whale of that size and shape cannot usually be found in the waters of Tivat. Therefore. We can only assume that Child is presently immersed in primordial seawater. Hmm. Which means he's dead. Hey, Veilfire, thank you for the subby to Jude. Appreciate it. And no, I do not voice Nouvellet. I voice Sino in this game. Ray Chase voices Nouvellet. I do find it very funny that TikTok thinks it's uh, Matthew Mercer. He's not from he's not from Fontaine, so he won't dissolve. Most people wouldn't be capable of entering in the first place. I'm not completely sure how he could have gotten there myself. Oh, you know, he's just drowning. There's something we'd like to ask you about. Yes. What is it? What was that tremor we felt earlier? Ah, oh, right. Pima felt it too. We asked the Duke and he said it wasn't from underwater, so we figured you It wasn't from under the sea. <laughs> It turns out that I have just received a report about this particular matter. In fact, that's exactly what I was busy with a moment mm, ago. Interesting. Kit Wolf Wolf. Think of the gifted sub. Near Poisson. Poisson. After the shaking stopped, the water levels in the Poisson area rose at an In the Poisson rate. area. The water levels rose? Ooh. Ooh. That's no good. Fortunately, the water levels only rose for a short period of time and have already returned to normal now. However, I still have a bad feeling about the whole phenomenon. It sounds like the prophecy of the Oratrice Mechanique Denelise Cardinal is coming true. If the change in water levels is connected with the leaking primordial seawater, then the situation in Poisson may be much worse than it appears. Navia should be in Poisson, right? We need to go check on her! Yes, the Spina de Rizula's headquarters is there. I would also like to go there as soon as possible, but I'm afraid I can't leave just yet. We must immediately formulate disaster prevention plans for the surrounding coastal areas to avoid potential catastrophes. I'll have to ask you two to go to Poisson first. I'll meet you there to check on the situation once I finish things here. Sounds like a plan. There's no time to lose. Let's get going. <laughs> yeah. Please be careful. Let's go. How would how much would you lose your mind if Mercer was to be a surprise voice actor in Genshin or Honkai? Uh Depends on the character, but I would lose my mind. Hands up, Sai, you're under arrest. All right. My hands are up. What now, officer? The two of you have my thanks. If you need any help, just let me know. Simba sold you out for being adorable? Damn, that's crazy. Simba would never utter those words. Which means I've been set up.
Straw bow berry. Thank you for the subby. Oh, no. What happened here? I mean, it looks like the exact same shithole as we left it last time. Doesn't look any different to me. Oh, All no. the buildings here seem to be in pretty rough shape now. I don't know. It looks exactly the same to me. There's nobody, there's nobody around. Are they all dissolved? No, let's not assume the worst yet. Nadia should be around here, right? C6 Mercer? Go? I mean, check on her. it depends. If Mercer's doing his Mercer thing, hell yeah. You know what? The only characters I would allow Mercer to be is one of the Heavenly Principles. I feel like this dm like dude mercer being a dm and with all these chess pieces i feel like if there was like a male heavenly principal mercer should 100 percent voice that guy that's just me that are like troy baker i doubt troy would ever voice in genshin though mercer is a possibility all right Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh man, look at this shit. Oh hey, there's a guy up there. Hey buddy. We haven't seen a single soul all the way here. There's literally a guy above. Look up. Look up, idiot. What ever do now? What happened? There's someone on the roof over there. On the roof. Just stay put. We're coming up. Watch your balance. I'll be alright. Uh, all right. Just hurry. Yeah, I'll be alright. It wasn't even that bad. It wasn't even that bad, Chad. They're fine. Uh, I'm not young anymore. How will I survive on my own? Oh. Oh wait. Did people actually dissolve? <laughs> <gasps> My Desiree. Oh, I mean, I was being a dickhead because I'm sick, but I didn't know that people actually. Oh, he looks pretty sad. <laughs> My leg. <laughs> My leg. My leg. <laughs> I wish I could do it properly. How could this have happened? Ew. <laughs> it hurts. You're so muddy. Just hang in there. Help is on the way. You can hold my hand if it makes you feel better. It won't. I have a boyfriend. He might have dissolved, but I have a boyfriend. Could you imagine? <laughs> it's like, would it help if I hold your hand? I have a boyfriend. What? Not anymore. Can we talk to them? How could this have happened? Just hang in there. Help is on the way. You can hold my hand if it makes you feel better. Ew, no. Gross. Ugh. Disgusting. Oh man, how do we get up there? If only we had a handsome and attractive. Oh, it's Navia. She's over there. Nouvellet. I don't know why my brain had a brain fart. Hey, Navia. Are you okay? Navia's dead. <sighs> Ooh, Navia You're is here. not happy. We heard there was a situation in Poisson, so we came as quickly as we could. You know Core wanted to say say croissant so bad because of the way she said or, or the way they said poisson. Yes. As you can see, the water level suddenly rose. It caused quite the disturbance, in fact. Oh no. Where are your boys? Demoiselle, there was a wounded resident next to a building southeast of here. We've already transported um, him to safety. Navia? We've run out of medical supplies. Where are your boys? He's wounded? Where's... How badly? Where's Silver? He fell, so it's probably a broken leg. He's pretty shaken up. 
When the water level rose, he desperately climbed up to the roof. Once the water receded and he saw the ground, he became terrified and eventually... Damn. He jumped down then. Find the leader of Squad One and tell him to take the wounded resident to see a doctor. He should know where to go. <sighs> where they at? Understood. I'll take over his search and rescue mission in the meantime. Where's Meluse? Where's Silver? All right. You'll be in charge. That's what this guy has been waiting for. Where were we? Um. The situation in Poisson? In Poisson? Ah, right. Allow me to explain. Oh, God. A little earlier, we suddenly heard a loud noise. At first, everyone thought that something might have exploded in the water. I mean, fair. But before we knew it, water started pouring out from everywhere. Damn. The rushing water seemed a little odd, almost like the unique color of primordial seawater. That's not good. Some people didn't realize the danger and thought it was just ordinary water leaking from somewhere. Oh no. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. They were all dissolved. One day I want Genshin to show it. Like, show me the horror, you know? Because, like, I want to feel it. I want to feel, like, the despair. Like, right now I'm like, oh, shit, this sucks. But, like, I want to see the horror. They did an act one? Nah. Nah. I'm talking about it here. I'm talking about show me. Show me. Those who realized what was happening oh, no. started to flee in a panic, desperately trying to get to higher ground. Many were injured in the stampede and some some people fell from significant heights. I wouldn't fly for the Genshin player base. I mean, that's fair. Rescue operations as quickly as possible, but there have been. There's two nations left. A lot. Uh, casualties. technically three. Fortunately, the water began to recede after some time, and the chaos came to an end. Because uh, if you're talking about like ha what we have, so for those of you who don't know, right now we're in Fontaine 5.0 is Natland, 6.0 is Nezhnaya, but seven is technically Conria. So technically, and then uh, after that, um, I'm assuming Conrail will be tackling the um, Heavenly Principles. Celestia, the thing is, Celestia wasn't considered. If you watch the Tevat trailer, it doesn't go into Celestia. It goes up to 7.0. So I'm combining Conrail with Celestia. That or, or, or. Hello. After Conria, after 7 point whatever the hell, when they finish the Tavat story, then we go into the Celestia story. You know what I mean? But I don't think they're going to do that. So. <laughs> what if we get an Abyss chapter? Literally, Conria is the Abyss chapter. I have no doubt in my mind. The water that flooded the area contained primordial seawater. Well, they said they were going so to continue after Tavat. It's just we don't know what's after. To ensure everyone's safety, I've asked the people there to leave as soon as possible. No one knows if this could happen again. Look, chat, I could go into rants about what could come next and all that stuff, but right now, is try our best I want to get through the story and we can talk residents. about stuff after. We still haven't completed the head count, but we'll have some numbers soon. Where is Silver and Malus? And all of this just came out of nowhere. It was quite frightening indeed. I only wish that everything that just happened was a bad dream. Is there any way we can help, Navia? Yeah, we're here to help. You can put us to work. Thank you. I mean, I'd rather progress so in the story, but okay, yeah, yeah, yeah sure, Navia, I'll like help. This. You don't know how much it means to me. I really can't express how grateful I am. Wait, we're missing some people. Yeah, we're Silver and Malus. Don't you? Oh no! Demoiselle, we've got a situation here. 
the best characters. Uh, I'll be right there. Chat, they dissolved. Sorry, I need to go for now. They dissolved. And out she goes. Seems it might be a while before she can take a break. Oh no. Navia walks around talking with many people and organizing various matters. Her decisions are clear. Okay. The wounded are being I hate tended. that I can't finish and reading those. Preliminary head count. More support has just arrived, so I suppose I finally have a moment to focus on my own matters. Of course, we should remain ready for anything and continue doing our best to rescue others. I'll be sure to have everyone at the Spina di Rosula ready to render assistance. Oh no! You didn't answer my question about Kedla? Silver and Malouse. Would you two accompany me to my father's grave for a moment? Yeah. Huh? Right now? I understand. Thank you. God, Paimon. Pick up the pace. Get it together. Learn to pick up on context clues as to what's happening, please. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> I gotta sneeze. I can feel it, chat. Nah, it's Sino. Why do you say it like that? What's wrong with Sino? What's wrong with Sino, huh? Huh? I mean, why would they be? Right now, like, I don't, I don't get it. Well, given the time of day and the whole situation in Poisson, Paimon doesn't think there'd be a ton of people here visiting graves. Uh, 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 or the lightning. That's how things are now. The living are so exhausted that they've no strength to spare any words for the dead. Um, Nadia? <laughs> There's no need to push yourself so hard. Hydro Dragon, don't cry. Oh, <laughs> Lord. My Why do you have to do that? Navia, what's wrong? Melus and Silver, huh? Sorry. I... I just... Silverwind. Thank you for the 23 months. Hey, look, we found Silver, Navia. Melus and Silver. <laughs> they won't ever come back here again. <laughs> Fuck. That sucks, dude. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> oh my god. You are like Papa. Sorry, sorry. It's TikTok has ruined me. You, but I haven't gotten to the quest, and I don't want any more spoilers. Dear. Fair enough. Thank you for the subby. I appreciate it. Huh? What happened? To Time you? on. I'm sorry for your oh, no. loss. Everyone agreed on the rescue plan, but still, I was the one who initiated it. God. They were helping evacuate the rest of the Labyrinth, thank you for the prime. Leave in time. And. And they were caught in the seawater. <sighs> <laughs> What should we do? There's nothing I've to do, dog. For so long. And I know they weren't afraid. But, but I could at least hold a funeral for my father. And I know where he rests. But as for Malus and Silver, they're just gone. I just can't. Everything looks so clean after it rains. Even the gravestone. It's still raining in the flashback, I guy. I didn't expect that you'd enjoy a glass of red wine in front of Master Callus's grave. I can understand. Besides, the scenery here isn't half bad. It's still raining in the flashback, guys. <laughs> it's not just me. I always want to bring something when I visit Papa. Perhaps we might even have a picnic. He wouldn't be angry, would he? 
Ah, how could Master ever be upset with you, Demoiselle? Yet the cemetery is the home of those who have passed, is it not? Everyone ends up here uh. sooner or later, no matter who you are. Buying yourself a plot in advance, are you? Damn. <laughs> no need yet. But when I do, I hope you'll let me be buried beside Master. Oh, Kels, that hurt. Hey, stop oh, joking no. around. Oh no. Oh, that I one see. sucks. That way, it will save us both the trip to see each other whenever you visit your father's grave. That makes sense. In that case, could I be buried on his other side? What about After me, guys? All, besides you, Demoiselle, the two of us could certainly be considered Master's closest companions, no? Yeah. Personally, I believe we fill those shoes just fine. <laughs> Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? Seriously. <sighs> all right, all right. And now she I'll can't even do that. Requests. But that I'd sucks. really prefer not to talk about this stuff. And what do you mean by saving me a trip? I'd make the journey even if I had to visit you two somewhere else. Damn. I promise to let them rest in peace here. But here I am breaking that promise. <sighs> I'm sorry for letting you see me in a mess like this. I don't usually wow. cry, really. Paimon doesn't know how to help you feel better. Because you're a demon. But, well, she understands how you feel. No. I'd always thought I could no, you don't, Paimon. But now that I think about it, that never solely relied on me. Many things can only be accomplished with someone else's help. Look, chat. I've talked about this. No, I'm not even like mad at Paimon. Um, I just hate the phrase. I get how you feel. Do you? Do you? Did your closest companions after your father passed away dissolve into nothingness? Like, unless like Paimon actually, like later on we find out that she has experienced all this stuff, sure. But this isn't even about Paimon. This is just one of those where I'm like, I hate it when people, like something goes, someone goes through something traumatic. And people goes, I know how you feel. Do you? Do you know how it feels when this happens, when that or this? Th it, bro, I can sympathize with you. Sure. Yeah. The I know how you feel. Unless you genuinely mean it. Like, unless you literally had borderline the same experience like as that other person yeah, I, I don't think that should be used at all Luce and Silver have helped me so much but by contrast I could do nothing for them it's what it's something that most people say when they don't know what to say yeah I know and it pisses me off I'm so sorry you can spend as much time as you need here, Navia. We'll stay with you. Yeah, we're here for you. Thank you. Right now, you don't know how much that means. The lightning is Nouvellet being angry, chat. By the way, you can have a look at this. It's a list of victims from the incident that took place here. Obana, Khan, Burnett. That's a lot of people. So, everyone else is safe. But still... It's okay. I know what you're thinking. And you're right. We lost Malus and Silver. But the best NPCs we we've had. Save more than we anticipated. The overall outcome indicates that the cost was worth it. Damn. No one's sacrifice is truly necessary. Right. Don't think that way, Navia. One person might be saved at the expense of another, sure, but that isn't something we should ever consider a trade. True. Bruce and Silver were not the price for saving anyone. They're heroes. You're right. Thank you, Paimon. What you said just now was pretty amazing, actually. I'll remember your words. Oh. Uh, really? 
Seems you've become more eloquent in the huh? time since we last met. Uh, what are you doing here? Hello, nurse. <clears throat> sorry, I I'm sorry for your loss, Navia. Hi, daddy. I mean, father. I mean, yes? Uh, the knave? What are you doing here? Uh, is everything going well on your side? Yes, my people are carrying out the mission according to your request. Oh, wow. All the residents of Poisson have been evacuated, and we're preparing to relocate them. To Man. The Fatui Hello, helping out. Sailor. The Fatui helping out the Spina de Rasula. As for these supplies, we have everything taken care of. There is no need to worry. Man, that is crazy how the knave really cares more about Fontaine than Farina. Well, at least that's the indication we've Thank gotten. You very much. Wait, do you two know each other? We just met recently. Right, Miss Navia? Hmm, usually. I would call this a coincidental encounter. That doesn't quite fit this time. Besides, it never even crossed my mind that a Fatui Harbinger would come looking for me. Thanks to the Knave, Spina di Rosula received generous support from the Fatui, which allowed us to complete the rescue and evacuation work so quickly. Wouldn't it be insane if she, if the Knave did this just to get in contact with Navia to see him as the good guy? I don't think... I don't think Arlequino would do that. But she's also a Fatui Harbinger. Mutual aid is essential to fostering positive developments. We were already in the area in any case, so it was nothing. We were already in the area causing the, the tremors. That said, I must say that you're a lot sharper than you let on. I'm sure you understand what I mean. Yes, she's blonde. We get it. The stereotype, please. Oh my god, that lightning strike behind her was kind of hot. I apologize for all the ways in which I tested you previously. We've never worked with a Fatui before, <laughs> and it's extremely important for us to know who we're working with. Fair Our enough. subordinates have reported that Fatui soldiers have been observing water levels and taking head counts in various locations. I hear that they've also prepared a large amount of emergency supplies. I'm quite surprised. I mean... This she has been talking about having a plan. Do I intend to? It is simply the way of powerful organizations to act forcefully, whether they are doing good or ill. You've witnessed that firsthand, in any case. I mean, the thing is, the knave probably has been prepping even before her conversation with Farina about how for it's according to the perspective the knave has gotten. Farina does not have a plan at all when. She probably does. As I've told this traveler before, I know of the prophecy, and I intend to prevent the impending disaster. Right, exactly. Lending your organization a hand was a natural first step in accomplishing that. As such, do not be troubled by this token of our sincerity. Perhaps one day, you'll uh, also be able to help me in the same uh, way. Ah, one day. With your help, there would have been many more casualties. I won't forget that is my plan comments. to finish the Archon quest today. Furthermore, I sincerely regret what happened to Malus and Silver. I only wish that my people could have arrived a little earlier to prevent this from happening. Mm. Don't say that. You and your subordinates did everything you could. As Paimon said, Malus and Silver <coughs> didn't choose to sacrifice themselves uh. for any specific person. And they weren't the price paid for other salvation. They chose to become heroes themselves. I've never liked hearing people put it that way. It's like trying to relieve pain by saying some noble-sounding words. But right now, there's nothing more suitable. They really did become heroes. You're right. I'm sorry for your loss, Miss Navia. There it is. <laughs> I love the music in Fontaine. Water is life to Fontaine's people. And it also spells disaster. It's no wonder that people always say that prophecies represent fate. Fortunately, I've never been one for such opinions. So, you're one who will try to change fate then? Hey. Of course. That is why I'm going to Hotel Bouffe de Tir. I still have some things to take care of. Hotel Bouffe de Tir. need my attention. By the way, Traveler, Paimon, one more thing. Uh, one more thing, actually. One of my favorite things about Arlequino and Fontaine 
is that her white and black and red is so like the color for her is so like anti-fontaine like it sticks out so much but in the best way you know what i mean like the color theory in me is i'm like bro this is what a good way to make it seem like oh she's like she's like she's standing out there's something about her that just it's so good the contrast is awesome all right then we'll just uh huh this isn't right Paima thought you would ask us to walk with you for a moment so you could tell us something in private that is a clever and useful conversation technique which i do like to use when necessary but there's no need today them. Do not hurt to have Miss Navia listening. The lightning's gonna. Oh my God! Traveler, I'm sure you remember that I said we could work together when we had the chance. Now is that time? You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Previously, it was the Fortress of Meripede's Sluice Gate, and this time it was the water levels in Poisson. These are both signals. So the time for jolly cooperation has come. Indeed. Allow me to share the latest intel I've received from the House of the Hearth's intelligence network with you. During some recent investigations, a child claimed to have discovered some ruins near Poisson. Oh, here we go. In ancient times. In ancient times. Investigating in many I hate places. that I can't sing right now. It pisses me off. Judging by the data. Even just the jokingly. Ruins, they may be related to the prophecy and the coming crisis. The situation is becoming more urgent, so any pertinent information will prove extremely precious. How convenient that they're near that location, and that's where the tremor happened. I wonder if they were trying to get in and accidentally caused the tremor, and then all those people. My anyway. people initially came to prepare for ruin exploration. Oh! Unexpectedly, this disaster struck. Okay, I was close. At present, wow. we're all busy that's prioritizing what the rescue effort. So that's why the Fatui were already in Poisson. Right. I wanted to take the children along, but unfortunately, Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet have all been dispatched to higher ground to assist affected residents. Linny told me that outside of the house, the person they trust most is you. No, fair which enough. Which is why I want to give you this task. <laughs> uh, can you trust an outsider like me? The House of the Hearth's members see each other as family. But Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet said that they also see you as such. Well, wow, well, that's sweet. not from the house. I'm sure you already understand how earnest they consider their friendship with you to be. Oh, that somehow makes Paimon feel kind of happy. Yeah, we're one of the your little spies. The ruins could fetch Got that pose. Parts. Oh, but since the children consider you family, it's only natural that I freely share it with you. Go to some ruins, right? We can handle that. Um, excuse me, but may I tag along? If the primordial sea is in there, that's a mistake. Miss Navia? But are you sure you're up to exploring <laughs> some ruins? You need to rest. Well, I'm sad, yes, but I can't just go back and plop myself into a chair by the roadside and do nothing. There's no point in being depressed while we still have a disaster on our hands. As my father's successor, I must live up to the hopes he had in me. Besides, I'm also doing this for myself. I need something, a distraction. No, she's our father, chat. Get it together. Navia's strong, but she needs company right now. We can be that company if she goes to explore the ruins with us. This is a mistake. Since you put it that way, I have no objections. What do you say, Travis? If the primordial, if this is connected to the primordial sea, literally she should not be going. But whatever, we'll go All to the right. ruins together. The ruins are to the south of Poisson. Here's the map. Okay, the three of us will handle it. Come on, let's pack up and get going. Okay, it's a mistake. It's a mistake and a half. <laughs> Okay, so before we continue, uh, like I was saying, so before we, uh, okay, so before we continue, 
Uh, I gotta go to the little cyborg's room. So I will be right back. Really hurt. That he put his I'm back. All right. I'm back, chat. Let's see. Is lightning gonna strike me as soon as I uh spawn? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Oh, well, it won't strike me, but it'll definitely strike there. Welcome back, thanks. In some legends, thunderbolts are a form of judgment from the gods above. Yeah, Nouvellet. Nouvellet is quite upset. He's upset, he's spaghetti chat. Hey, Jen, thank you for the sub. Oh, you gotta be quicker. Uh -huh. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> Why is it coming after me, chat? Uh, because I haven't said Oratrice Mechanique then Elise Cardinal in like five seconds? I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> so, are these the ruins the knave was talking about? Oh, talk about old. They seem to be pretty ancient, all right. I guess. Just be careful. All right, let's get in there before we get attacked. The place of secrets. Meeting is also parting. Oh God, I'm scared. Wait, chat, how many acts do we have? Well, I'm dissolving now. One? Five? Okay. So we're still in Act 5. Okay, cool. Because if it was more than that, uh, I may not be able to do... If it was more than the one act we just got, then... Uh, who the hell? What up, losers? Uh, yeah, use Amino, Animo against Animo. <laughs> Amino against Animo. Amino, Amino, Damino. The animals? I hear everything. The animals, the animals. Judgment is upon them. Easy. What did you say to me? Do you hear him, chat? You just cursed me. <clears throat> this arc is quite long. I mean, all the arcs are long, but if it was more than one act, that's where I feel like. Oh, okay. Whoa. What a waste of a good elemental burst. You're a waste of a good elemental burst. Dude, he recharges. His elemental burst recharges so often that it's fine. Uh, grab something. Grab something. Grab something. Grab something. Well, I guess I'm drowning. Oh. Well, now I just look like a fool. Squall Fury. This place has also been contaminated by primordial. It took you seven water. hours. Yeah. And There's no way. You must have been going like molasses. And would most likely dissolve the moment they fell in. Right. You can't go down if there's primordial seawater. It's too dangerous, and it won't be any help for you to just stay here. Uh, don't get by my wrong. We're not saying you're useless. It's just Damn, that... I'm saying you're useless. No, you're right. I can't do anything in this situation. I'll leave this to you. Yeah, because if you get in there, you're, uh... You're gonna drown. Complicates things. Well... Maybe the only way left is forward. In that case, do you want to wait for us here? Mm, uh, the water you don't have a choice. Unstable, and there's a chance the water will rise. So, staying here... Man, it's almost either. like I said you shouldn't have come. With you. Perhaps we'll find the exit just up ahead. Seems like there isn't any other option. It's All almost right. like I said... Don't. Now, but please 
be careful. Chat, it's almost like I said, don't. Golly. Oh, no, it's a dead end. Let's try climbing over from the side. Um. Oh, there's a giant entrance right there. If only I, uh, you know, opened my eyes. Someone humming? I thought I heard someone humming and I think I'm just going insane. I jumped over it. You can't jump over it. Man, I can't believe you're about to join Malus and Silver. Oh. Navia is up. Oh, voice line. Oh, that. She's gone. She is gone. Huh. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Demoiselle. Huh? Demoiselle, what are you doing here by yourself? Would you be standing here till dark if I hadn't come to get you? Bro, are they all in the primordial sea? Maybe she just wants some time to herself, Malus. Hmm? Oh. Uh, was I... Was I sleeping? Yes, it would appear so. Uh, I must be tired. That's quite possible. However, you were the one that suggested we go out for a walk. Oh, right. I nearly forgot. Chat, I literally wanted to say... I, I said it time and time again. She uh, should not have come. My mind when I dozed off. No spoilers, I chat. I had a nap today yet. Uh, this is a familiar feeling, yet... Something's a little strange. Uh, is something the matter, Demoiselle? Oh, uh, Everything's no. the matter. No, I'm fine. I was just trying to recall why we came out for a walk. Do you remember Mr. Giverny? No. He'd requested our help before with foreign merchants who had a debt dispute with him, and we'd resolved the matter not long ago. We were <laughs> headed to see how things were going with him at the moment. Oh. oh, right. Yes. I remember now. Oh, Miss Navia. Ah, uh, Mr. Malus. And Mr. Silver, too. <laughs> it's good to see all of you. These are all the people that... Uh, how have you been? That, uh, you know. I've been great. Thanks to your help, those got merchants finally realized that I wasn't the one they were looking for. Why, I wasn't even a guarantor for that person. They were knocking at my door day and night. Even my neighbor, Obina, was getting fed up with them. Sometimes, force is required to calm someone down and get them to listen to what you have to say. <laughs> That's right. Oh, by the way, Burnett, what was it that you wanted to give to Miss Navia again? Oh, oh, yes. One moment, I have it right here. Miss Navia, these are some flower seeds that I prepared. Mm. Please take them. I don't know what we would have done without your help. Ah, All right, go ahead a little bit on this. Thank you so much. Why, we can have as many pots as you'd like, demoiselle. Okay. Perfect. In that case, we'll swap out some of the decorative plants for some of Mrs. Burnett's flowers. You're starting to realize Very it. Very well. Wait. Something seems to be off here. You're, you're starting to get it. Excuse me, madam. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, your name is Burnett, correct? That's right. Is something wrong? Yeah. Uh, no, it's nothing. This is the first time we've ever met, but your name seemed familiar yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. Connecting the dots. Connecting the dots. I've heard this name before. Sometime recently. One of the I'm names sure that it. was dissolved. And why are there so few people around here? Yeah. Where did everyone go? You got Please it. Find the time, Demoiselle. We still have important things to attend to today. Huh? Uh, we do? Like what? 
Well, now, did you forget? Miss Navia, here you are. I've been looking for you. Please, come to the Opera House. Your trial is about to begin. My trial? Wait, well, why would I need to go to the Opera House? Yes, she's right, Demoiselle. It's just about time now, so we should get going. Oh? Uh, all right, then. Interesting, interesting. Look, it's Navia. She's here. And her two attendants are with her. <sighs> Goodness, everyone's finally here. And before the primordial sea is a portion of the oratrice mechanique and Elise Cordonel. People here to see the trial. And bef as they're dissolving, it passes judgment. Excited about something. Karina. Yeah. Putting it together. Julian. Essen. Putting it together. Why are so many people here? Putting oh, no. it together. And why do I oh, have up, no Akinite? recollection of this case? And as for the judge, uh, huh? Putting it together. Please sit in the defendant's seat. Don't worry, Silver and I shall accompany you. All right, but are you sure you can stand behind me? Typically, it wouldn't be allowed, but today oh my is God. an exception. Hey, what kind of place do they think this is? <laughs> Come on, do they have any idea what they're doing? Seriously. Enough with the whispering! My dear Miss Navia, have you not yet realized what you've done? In that case, allow me to explain. Okay. As all here know, you are Master Callus's successor. Oh no. The head of the Spina di Rasula, someone held in high regard by every soul in Poisson. Uh -huh. After you took over the Spina, you treated all of us just like the late Master Callus had. If anyone in need reached out to you for help, you responded. Why is that a bad thing? Not only you, but your butler, your subordinates, <sighs> nearly everyone for in the well -being of... Why is this a bad for thing? For the well-being of those in Poisson. <laughs> Why is this a bad thing? Wait a moment. Aren't you just proving that I'm a good person? Yes, correct. Huh? Absolutely right. And that is why you stand accused. Oh. You have helped so many people get through so many difficulties. You are one with us. We are inseparable. Oh no, are we becoming an Edelon? We are one big family. All of us who are from Poisson, inextricably linked. And with you being so important, we couldn't possibly do without you. What is happening? Part of the ship, part of the crew, part of the ship, part of the crew, part of the ship. Therefore, this fair and honorable court shall declare you guilty, and you shall stay here. You will be together with us forever. Oh, no. Huh? What are you saying? Uh, everything you have said is correct. I have indeed done a lot for my oh, hometown. Oh no. And I would be willing it's just to be like with you that all. quest. What is the purpose of having me stand here like this? Chave, Chave, Chave. Oh, well. Oh no. If that's what you think, then I have no further comments. <gasps> How wonderful, Miss Navia. <laughs> Desiree, <laughs> yup, yup. I know all these people. Yup, 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 yup. I seem to remember now. Yes. Silver coming in clutch. This trial is... Wait just a moment. This isn't right. Hey, Malus, finally. Uh, Malus? What was that, Mr. Malus? <laughs> Our conclusion is very clear and unanimous. Let the court judge her now. She's guilty. Stay here, Navia. You're one of us. Oh, God. Demoiselle, don't admit guilt. This trial means to keep you here forever. I wish to exercise my right to defend our lady. Mr. Ronville, you only know of Navia's goodness, but nothing of her utterly independent mind. Damn. She was born a free and independent spirit. She has never been tied down by anything. Indeed, even the death of Master Callus couldn't stop her. Her actions cannot serve as proof that she identifies herself as part of any group. She merely acted as an individual, extending her hand to help Here others. Here we go. 
Please do not mistake her I think I prefer <sighs> it's so hard to pick eyes. between the looser silver. Really? As an individual, you say? Yup. Don't forget, we are all Fontanians here. This is the nation of justice, the nation of Hydro. Even if Miss Navia only voluntarily rendered her assistance, that doesn't change the fact that her beautiful oh soul God. must return to everyone. Water accepts all, blends with all. What in the cult, bro? It will surely accept her kindness. Everything is measured here in the nation of Hydro. And in the end, oh my God. everyone shall meld together. Thus, when a unanimous opinion emerges, that opinion represents justice. The oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal. Now I speak for everyone. Apollo, Our thank you for the subby. opinion is consistent. Navia should stay. So the primordial sea is venom. Navia are That's one. what's happening. And you would call this justice? Preposterous. You are merely jealous that Demoiselle still has a chance to exist as an individual. Have you forgotten how much you all once wronged to become individuals, to become independent? How much? Bro, how long has it been? What do you mean? Do you, you mean, mean to, to defy, defy our, our justice? justice? Could have been timed a little bit better, but you know, that's if fine. If your justice is flawed, then why should we acknowledge it? As you said, we can also have our own justice. Silver and I shall defend Demoiselle, and that is how we will enforce justice. Ugh, my head... It hurts. Demoiselle. Fight it. Silver, it hurts. My head is spinning. All I can see is stars swirling in front of me. I remember now. Everything that seemed odd from the very beginning. Karina, Desiree, Jolien, yeah. Jolien Essen. And Mr. Javerni and there Mrs. you go, there Javerni. you go. Even Malus and Silver. I don't want to admit it, but but they're all dead. Oh my god, what a good shot. Don't be afraid. And don't admit guilt. We will protect you to the very end. Damn. I got chills. Absurd! Who are you to say that she cannot be judged? We are the majority, and in the nation of trials, the majority is absolute justice. We are the will of all. We are. <clears throat> Don't let them escape. We shall keep Navia here Too much. with us. Venom. There we go. Just enough. Mr. Malus and Mr. Silver, must you be so stubborn? Yes. How could the two of you possibly hope to stand against the collective? Do not resist. This judgment is fair and just. Navia belongs to, to us. us. <laughs> Bro, could you imagine? Yeah, it's a notion. It After all that happened, she should not be left alone in Poisson. What are you saying? No more excuses. She says we're jealous. Jealous? <laughs> How could she possibly be an independent individual? What's with these people? We aren't people. We are Venom. Who's jealous of her? She belongs to us. Miss Navia. She. She? Silence. <gasps> because my boy can see. In the waters. Uh, that's. Monsieur Nouvellet. Uh, Monsieur Nouvellet. Such commotion is prohibited in the court. The accusations you just presented are nonsense and cannot constitute a proper trial. Hey, Nouvellet. The court will adjourn for the rest of the day. In this, I shall hear no objections from any unauthorized party. Our oh, thanks, Monsieur Nouvellet. That's my Please water. That's my hydro now. dragon. Well, there is still time. But you have no choice. Come on now, Demoiselle. This is your only chance to leave this place. What? Can't bear to leave us behind or something? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna Oops. cry. <laughs> my apologies. I couldn't resist making one little joke once I realized that this shall be. Oh my God! Problem. I'm crying. Malus, Silver. 
quickly. You must come now. Goodbye, demoiselle. Oh my god. Farewell. Acting. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. Yeah, it's from being oh, no, sick. Wait. Uh huh. Just a second. Hey, Navia? Man, Nuvolet really came in clutch. You're awake. Good. Damn. I must have been dreaming. Malus and Silver were still alive, and they were. They were defending. Oh, you, uh. You weren't dreaming. It looks like you're all right. Did all the sad feelings cause you to have a nightmare? Paimon could give you a hug. The ruins you were exploring suffered a cave-in. When I arrived, I found you falling toward the water. Damn. You were just about to be dissolved within, but I... Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> what is it? You were able to stop it, nevertheless. I think I saw two Oceanids protecting you. It was only for a moment, perhaps even a fraction of a second. But they gave me the chance to retrieve you. Were it not for their intervention, I would not have been able to rescue you before your consciousness dissipated. Wait, did you say Oceanids? You mean like what happened with Vache? So people that are dissolved become Oceanids. Perhaps those two Oceanids were the people you saw in your dream. Damn. Uh, Coco, thank you for the 22 Let's months. <sighs> I always told them nah, I didn't wish for free. No, we're going to wish for her if we get to 75 subs. <laughs> to think that they'd keep doing so even after death. Then chat. Then chat. The Oceanids we've been fighting. Bro, this. This. This theory about. Uh, that the prophecy already happened. Might be real. I don't want confirmation. Don't you dare. Please come with me. <laughs> Nevelet, are you Think of the 200 okay? biddies. Hmm? Oh, I am quite all right. Perhaps there's something we could chat about? Perhaps. Why do you look so stiff all of a sudden? Oh, Paimon knows. You're the type who feels awkward when there's nothing to talk about, right? Yes. I merely thought that we should give Navia some time to herself. Huh? Why didn't you just say so then? Don't you think it's even more awkward to call us over like this and then have nothing to Paimon talk about? has no class, bro. Hmm. I suppose so. By the way, Sijween sends her regards. Ah, oh, Sijween. I hope all is well with her these days. Her work in the Fortress of Meropede has not been too much for her, has it? No way! Don't worry. She's doing fine down there. She's an amazing head nurse. <laughs> the only nurse. Well, that is good. I have always worried that Sijween would need a lot of time to understand the world of humanity, just as I have. Oh, and the Duke also says hi! Even though Sijween made him do that. He mm. that you haven't been overwhelmed by all that's happened lately. Thank you. I have indeed been busy lately, and I also hope that everything is going well in the fortress. You literally moment. went the other day, bro. Uh, <coughs> he still doesn't know what to talk about. Uh, let's chat about something else then. Oh my god, bro. Oh, no I'm gonna skip through this. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. <laughs> bro, please. Uh, is what is this filler here. stuff? Uh, yes, in fact. I had arranged to meet you in Poisson, but when I arrived, I discovered that the Fatui were helping the residents evacuate. They had even transported a large quantity of supplies to the. Hey, bro, area. this is the most filler my dialogue ever. To the nave, and we had a chat. She informed me that she had asked you to investigate the ancient ruins here. I like the filler. Look, there are times I like the filler, but literally, Paimon is like, uh, he's not really making small talk. What do we do? And I was like, bro, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. We originally planned to meet up with you, but we thought you might still be busy with all those official documents. We didn't think exploring the ruins would take very long, and who would have thought you'd wrap things up so quickly? Bro thinks we'll go fighting every second? No, I don't think we'll go fighting every second. But I also realize that dialogue can be bad if literally it's like, we don't know what to talk about. When it could literally just be done naturally. 
We forgot to report to him? No. Here's the thing. I don't disagree. Like, getting the information of how Nouvellep found us makes total sense. That is not what I am referring to. Hymon literally being like, uh, what else should we ask? That is the thing. All right. That is the thing. I'm like, dude, this is unnecessary. Small talk. Do you like cheese? Literally. I'm sorry to have kept you all waiting like that. I'm feeling much better now. I guess we should get going again. Will you come with us, Monsieur Nouvellet? Yes, if you wouldn't mind my company. I mean, if if she falls again, you're the only one who can save her. I love cheese. Well, 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 another one of these. In fact, here's the thing, chat. When it comes to Genshin, I'm not one, like, the combat is cool and all, but I'm not like, oh my god, it has to be combat. I'm more interested in the story more than anything else. But that's the thing. And filler, ca filler conversations can be good, but I don't know. That just felt like unnecessary to me. I'm also sick, so my, uh, my patience is a lot thinner than it normally is. Why did it zoom out so much? The zoom out usually happens like this when I'm about to... Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, usually when there's a f uh, multiple enemies, that's what I was going to say. Oh, God. Well, grab it, grab it. I know. Why do you never grab it? That's fine. Oh. Well, what do I do now? Huh. I guess I fell. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. The stairs came back. <laughs> that was ridiculous. There's a difference between filler and important mission information. Yeah. Or like literally letting us know how a person got there. You know, like how it's like, because then you're left wondering me like, oh, how convenient that Nouvellet just happened to be there. You know, like it was obviously convenient, but there was a reason for it. You know what I mean? Hey, what up, fellas? Filler is fine if not bloated. Yeah, like filler is fine if it's like, if it like makes sense a little bit but like i don't know like there i was like this is this is weird what is this uncharted relax you wish this was uncharted i wish this was uncharted <laughs> oh and falling rocks interesting i think it was forced because nouvellet was trying to force navia to get some space right 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 like sure but even then like i don't know it, it just rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know. I, I'm going to blame it on being sick and just don't have the patience for a lot of the the filler dialogue right now. That's what I'm going to blame it on. Hey, what up, fellas? Yeah, let me hit the animal guy with the animo. Cause that's smart. How are you level twelve already? Uh, money. Through me, justice is served. Your penance is due. Oh, that was quick. Letter chaos. Thank you for stopping by. Yo, is that a D twenty? Yeah, that's what I... Like, literally, it could have been, like... You could have had your gag of, like, Paimon... Uh, of, like, oh, so you just brought us here? Well, yeah, I wanted to give her space. Oh, well, okay, that makes sense. Uh, how, how did you get here anyway? And then literally just done that, you know? I don't know.
We made it. This is a big ass cave. He came after the knave told him to. Well, I, I know that. And we got that information. I, I was talking about how they could have transitioned into it. That That's what I was getting at. No, these ruins Looks are great. Like we've reached the end. We sure have. This is the place. There should not be any other hidden spaces in the vicinity. The path sure had some twists and turns, but it turns out that this place isn't actually that big. Were we looking at the same place? There seems to be something on the wall. <laughs> oh, here we go. The prophecy. It seems like they were put here as an offering. Uh, could we take them down and have a look? Uh, I'm not gonna look at chat because I'm sure chat is about to spoil now. something for me, so I'm not gonna look at chat. Just a heads up. Hmm. There are four locations in total, but only three stone slates. The slate that should be in the first empty spot is missing. Oh. And the surrounding walls also show signs of damage. There's Something written below. Let Paimon see. Uh, reason dictates that this nation be destroyed. Huh? I shall record the history of its future here in its Why? Past. Uh, say what? Why? It feels like someone left these slates and these words here for a purpose. But does he mean that Fontaine should be destroyed? Why do you assume it's a heat? That would fit the circumstances dictated by the prophecy, yes. A heavenly Stop principle? The slate's contents correspond to it. Take the second slate, for example. Heavenly principle, perhaps? Maybe talking to Farina? There's a person kneeling here. She seems so dedicated. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of other people behind that seems like, the same. Is that Celestia? She's facing like the, the island in the sky? Uh, what is this? Is that Some supposed to be Fosalor? Island in the sky? And is that... Lady Farina in the third image? Did the Hydro Archon fall into the water? Sorry, I only laugh because I'm like, ah, yes, in these stone slates, uh, I find it very funny that Farina is fully dressed in mo her modern attire in comparison to what it would have been like back in the past. Anyway, I, I do find it funny. And is that a ring of people around him? <laughs> Paima doesn't quite get it. Are they all in the water? The fourth image. I know this one. Yeah. This exactly matches the content of the prophecy. The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Yes, they do seem to match. Hmm. Huh. Oh, because he can see into the water. More information should be hidden in these slates, but I fear I cannot easily uncover it. Most likely due to us missing the first slate. Hmm. I am very sorry. If you're wondering why it's in sub only mode, it's because clearly someone started spoiling. ancient stone slates isn't one of your duties. Ooh, Paimon's getting the chills just looking at these slates. I do wonder if the this theory is real now. The history of the future, right? That means the prophecy's sure to come true. Hmm. Game Runa, thank you for the sub. I really hope it doesn't mean that. Still, Paimon feels like these images are kind of weird when you look at them together. Huh. I wonder if that second one is uh, Fosalor begging the uh, Celestia or something to, like, not destroy? I get what you mean, Paimon. The issue is the order of the third and fourth images, right? Oh... Uh, bye, uh, Bahiai. Thank you for the, uh, two months. I've just heard your cover of House of Osmodius. Oh, well, thank you. That's right. If the images are in chronological <laughs> order, shouldn't the fourth, the waters drowning Fontaine, come before the third, where the Hydro Archon herself falls into the water? And yet the order is reversed here. Hmm. The second image is also quite concerning. What sin are the people in the images confessing to? If we go by timing, Lady Farina only emerges in the third image. That means that the person in the second image might be the previous Hydro Archon. Egeria, then. 
I had never met her, but her appearance here does match the records. Nigeria. The previous Archon kneeling before the floating island in the skies, as if confessing a sin. Did she herself commit that sin? And if not, why would she be in such a posture? Also, I'm still wondering why these ancient stone slates are here at all. Judging from their contents, could this place be the origin of the prophecy? I mean, yeah. Does that mean that someone or some people once saw oh, no. these slates? I mean, I would imagine. Who would have created these slates and left these words here? I mean, I would imagine that it's for for Farina. It seems that any further clues will have to come from Farina. True. In that case, there's Yo, no get your time camera out. Lose. Take pictures. There's nothing else to be gained here, so let's head back first. Yo, shouldn't we take pictures of these with a camera? Camera with a K? Yeah, we better get somewhere safe for now. Honestly, who created the slates doesn't matter now. The real question is whether things will truly play out as the prophecy foretells or not. So we're not going to take a picture. Literally, we could just... Okay. Fuck the picture, I guess. Let's split up here. I'm going to check on what's happening with the Spina. You know how it is. There's some things you just need to... Hey, actress, thank you for the 30 months. 30 months, hell yeah. Also hope you feel you better, bro. Me too. Paimon's huh. already beat. Just head back to the Fluff Sandra and have a rest. To the Fluff Sandra. Thanks for keeping me company all this time. I'll depart as well. Thanks for your hard work today. Rest well, everyone. Shouldn't we go talk to Farina? Traveler, I will go talk to Farina tomorrow oh. morning to ask about the stone slate. All right, tomorrow it is then. I'm sure that you're concerned about this matter as well. If you have time, drop by my office. I will share the results of our discussion with you. All right, see you tomorrow. Are you really going to talk to her about this directly? Will that be a problem? She has long been harboring secrets and will not give them up easily, which makes it all the more my duty to ensure that she understands the present situation. True. All right, we'll leave it in your hands then. You're probably the best person yeah, to talk to Yeah, you know, to Simba. Anyway. It's fine. I will be careful we don't need to be on a... Tonight. Traveler, we don't need Paimon. to be speedy about this. Our safe house at the Fluff Sandra is always open to you, as ever. So please don't think you're an imposition. <sighs> All right. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> Navi almost dies and everyone just goes to sleep. Yeah. Head to Spina. Why are we heading to Spina de Rizula? <sighs> We're finally back. Just to have a... Welcome back. We've got a special menu prepared for you two tonight. To rest to sleep? Ooh, I mean, yeah. <sighs> it's just been a while since we've come today. here. Oh shit, Mona! Oh, that voice. Is that who I think it is? Yo, you want to check out this prophecy real quick? Huh? It's you two. <laughs> what are you doing in Fontaine? What are you doing in Fontaine? Lady Majestic, did the stars not tell you that we will meet here? Seriously, Lady Majestic. Nobody just uses a scry glass whenever they've got time to just see who they'll meet on the road. Uh, I don't know. I feel like yeah, you have. We didn't expect to see you here. Hey, Jamba. Uh, thank wait, you for the nine months. Are you Mona? Well, I have some business to attend to here, so I booked a hotel in the city. I was just out for a stroll when I bumped into you. Quite unexpected. You didn't answer our question, Mona. Bad. Why did you think I was from Fontaine, though? Is that because Magistus doesn't sound much like a mom's dad or surname? No, we're just making sure that you don't dissolve. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Well, I used to have my own surname, which was, well, some other thing. Either way, the old hag told me when she took me as her disciple that the first step to being a great astrologist's pupil was to change that name. Damn, she said your name was trash. Angelic, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Again, chat, if you're wondering why we have it in sub-only mode, it is because people be spoiling. And, uh, yeah. 
I know that some people are like, then why not have it in emote only mode? Because if you really want to talk in chat, and if you really want to spoil, then you better at least pay me some money. There was nothing for it, really. She really is amazing at astrology, so I changed my name to what it is now according to her wishes. To my surprise, to however, her, think of the prime. Justice is not the name of some ancient house or clan. Boy. Uh, it isn't? No. Oh. Although it is used by us in place of surnames, it generally just means great. Ha, <laughs> the great Mona. Wow, imagine lady great. A boast in your name. Great lady. Wait, are you going to have to put that into your genealogy as well? I reckon so. In any case, I'd give my disciple a name like this as well, if I were to take one. And may I ask what your master's name is? Astromancer Barbaloth Trismegistus. How is that harder than Oratrice Mechanique Denali's Cardinal? Astromancer Barbaloth Trismegistus. Whoa, that's a long one. Does it also. Hey, Miss Hurt, think of the tier one. My name means Mona the Great Astrologist. As for the old hag, hers is, in plain speech, the thrice as great scholar of the stars. Just take it as a title specific to astrologists. Sure. Thrice as great? That's so heavy. I know, right? <sighs> That's just how she is. She used to call herself Magistus, actually, but when she took me in, she changed her name to Tris Magistus. What a bitch. Talk about excessive. Magistus is thus the calling card of our school, so to speak, which makes it about the same as a surname. Hey, the loyal bro, think of the sub. You can look into it further should you need to study astrology more deeply. Hey, appreciate it. Kyra Cat, think of the tier one. Appreciate it. I will say Mona's backstory and whenever we do story with Mona is one of the most fascinating ones just because she can see into the future if we need to. So this is a great way to get, in, get into that, you know. Uh, Kezilala. Thank you for the subby. This is terrible! Ugh. But anyway, you're not <laughs> Montanian, are you, Mona? You're from Mondstadt, right? Well, I was born in Mondstadt, yes. That's all that matters. My parents migrated to Dorman Port, and I traveled with the old hag for a while, after which I settled down in Mondstadt City. That's all that matters. Oh, that's a good thing, then. At least we know you won't be dissolved by Fontaine's waters. <laughs> we won't be to what? Hmm, speaking of that, I'm sure you're aware that a bunch of things have happened here in Fontaine, right? I know you're not a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange all the same. There's something ominous about it. What that would want? be wild if you played as a Fontanian character and just dive into the Primordial Sea and then your character just vanishes. That'd be so fucked. <laughs> Did you come to Fontaine because of the prophecy, Mona? That was the main reason, yes. Just a while back, the Steambird invited me to take part in a panel and speak about the circulation of the prophecy. Damn, Mona is going to conventions? The invitation was sent quite early on. I don't think anyone expected Fontaine to be in this much trouble. What do you make of that <sighs> prophecy, Mona? Just tell us what you think as an astrologist. Your word would go a long way to make things more <sighs> certain and less scary. What I can tell you is that I'm an astrologist. And that this prophecy concerns the fate of Fontaine, even that of all Tevat. Ascertaining this is akin to reading the fortune of the whole world. Well, damn. I'm afraid that this is not something that just anyone can do. If I could do it, you would no longer call me an astrologist, but a visionary. Damn. On the flip side, the prophecy is so huge and powerful that it must surely come from a powerful visionary. Its contents are almost like a heavenly principle. World. Disregarding it would be a mistake. A visionary? Sounds really powerful and all, but does such a person really exist? Of course. The old hag could oh. do it. And I would bet there are others amongst those Hex and Zerkel colleagues of hers who could do something I need similar. to ascertain the accuracy of the prophecy. Could you help me get in touch with your master? Uh, uh, are you sure? Yes. Hmm. Ooh, right. we gotta talk to Mona's master? It's not often that I see you with such a serious look on your face. I'll tell you once I hear back from her. Oh. Thanks, Mona. You're amazing as always. <sighs> I guess. Oh, well, this is something only I can do after all. So yes, your praises are quite welcome. That's the greatest of astrologists for you. Of all the people we know, you know the stars the best. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> That's the spirit. Wow, you are your oh, master's sorry. disciple. 
I came to see what all the commotion was about. If there's anything you need, do not hesitate to inform the Spina di Rosula. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Guess we were getting a little too carried away there. Well, I'll go tend to my own business now. If I receive any news, I'll be sure to come find you two again. No, oh, boy. Man, everything's gonna go into the shit, isn't it? Waffle boy, thank you for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. Uh, well, we were making a ruckus. Right, but we were able to recruit Mona's help, didn't we? Our Fontanian friends will thank us someday. Shinobi AR, thank you for the subby. Uh, Waffle boy to the Raiders. If you're wondering why it's in sub only mode, it's because chat decided to spoil. So that is why. You decide to get a good night's sleep and replenish your energy. Well, that's the stream, everybody. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm up. What's good, fellas? No, we don't know what she looks like. I think... Have we heard her master during the tea time event thing? Or was that only uh, other individuals? I can't remember. We heard her? Yeah, that, that was the thing I vaguely remember because I remember only Klee's mom. That's not true. We definitely heard multiple people in that. We heard Alice, but we also heard, um, there was another person that we had heard. But we definitely don't know what they look like. Oh, Alice did an impression. Finally. Okay. and Lady Farina, they, Ooh. they seem to have gotten into a dispute. Oh, they Please fight and fight. Bet. If we open that door and it's a shouting match, I welcome it. Like I said, I've already explained everything. And yet the problem has not been properly solved. Hey, Jamie, think of the prime. space for excuses between us. It is not my intention to offend you, but please tell me where you stand. You are the Hydro Archon Fossilor, are you not? Ooh, we're going this route, are we? Look at this. This is a list of the victims from the recent Poisson incident. <sighs> Damn. Y you mean... they're all... We did not arrive in time to avert this disaster. And I will not have it happen again. Damn! Tell him, Nuvi. God, Ray is so good! <laughs> Should have gotten popcorn. More. You must tell me everything you know. Yesterday, I found three stone slates in some ancient ruins near Poisson. Do you know anything about those? Seriously? You're questioning me like this is a court case now. I don't know anything about that. But you found them in some ancient ruins, you say? That's correct. Which is why I came to ask Damn. you some questions. There should have been Die, four slates, for the three but months. one of them was missing. The other three feature different images that seem to correlate to the prophecy. You know what's really funny? I just realized why that, like, now mind you, we have seen other ruins that look similar in Fontaine, if you just go exploring and stuff. But that one reminds me of the one that was underwater in Farina's trailer. So we'll see. The prophecy? The second of these slates depicts the previous Hydro Archon Egeria kneeling before a floating island in the sky, as if confessing something. Do you know nothing of this either? I don't. I've never seen such slates. <laughs> okay. I'll ask you again. Do you really have no information regarding the previous Archon? I'm, I'm calling it now, chat. This is not... Farina. This is not the real Hydro Our Archon. deciphering of the slates indicates that the Hydro Archon Egeria I'm once so interested in what's going to happen. ...or apologize for a certain sin. Ooh. If anyone would Wait. know about it, it should be you. Sinner? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Well, huh. No, it's not. Farina's not the sinner. There's no way. It, it's abyss related. Anyway, it's fine. Thank you for the raid, Floraven. Gods don't have the same secrets, you know. She was herself, and I'm me. Is it really so strange that I know nothing? Yes, it actually is very strange. I understand your concerns, but 
I'm sorry. I just don't have anything to tell you. <sighs> Forgive me for saying this now, Lady Farina, but I have long known of your various secret investigations into certain matters. Huh? There are several indications that huh? you have been investigating the prophecy on the sly. Huh? This is not strange in itself, considering that you are the Hydro Archon. <laughs> But it is strange that you should also claim to not know any of Egeria's secrets, as well as do nothing following your inquiries. Hmm. You could say that court is in session. You have never been as superficial as you have presented yourself to be, nor are you a fool. And yet, your behavior is very inconsistent. Damn. <laughs> oh, so you've been watching me all this time, have you? I didn't think you were that type. <laughs> All right, relax. It ain't like that. <laughs> you. Well, since you know about my secret investigations, then you should know I'm actually working to take care of it. There's no point questioning or suspecting me. You're the Eudix, but you're still my subordinate. You should be following my lead. Um. Just trust in me, your Archon, and do as I say. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. It'll all turn out fine. I don't like that. That's all I have to say. We do not discuss this matter again. Such a brat. Give it time, chat. Give oh, it time. <laughs> the opera's about to start. Toodles! <sighs> Is she crying? Her eyes definitely Did seem... Did Farina not notice us standing by the door? Wonder what's up with her. She was smiling. Huh. She didn't seem in the mood to care if we were listening in or not. Uh, she seems to be deliberating, deliberately hiding something. I assume you've been outside for a while now? Uh, yeah, we heard everything, buddy. Oh. She was in a great panic, though I cannot discern the reason. Our discussion reached impasses time and again, a state of affairs that we cannot allow to continue. Still, I do not understand. Dialogue is the basis for understanding, so why did she keep refusing to engage? I'm afraid questions alone might not suffice. We need to make her understand how dire the situation actually is. Everyone in her inner circle has noticed that she is hiding some secret. The issue is her attitude. I fear that she will not reveal anything unless absolutely forced to. Bet. We may have to create a situation in which she will have no choice but to speak. It's time to drown the people of Fontaine. Oh? Like what? Normally, people will only reveal the truth when standing trial. Perhaps we must oh. have the Hydro Archon experience just such uh, a scenario. Oh, shit. And she's really good at dodging questions. How do we make sure that she won't just slip away at the first chance she gets? Well, we will need to consider this thoroughly, join forces with various parties, and then do what we can. Man, the coup of the century. Nouvelette secretly scar. Be prepared for the coup of the possible, century. I would to recuse myself from this affair, but we must prevent the prophecy from coming to pass. This may be cruel to her, but all Fontaine is in crisis. The information a god possesses is too precious, and so we must take a chance on this. In that case, we'll need help. Hit up the knave. Hmm. But who will lend us their aid to do such a thing? Oh, I think I know who to call. The retreat mechanique d'analyse cardinal. Is what you were expecting, but I meant the Ghostbusters. <laughs> a few days later, on a boat somewhere in quiet Poisson. Huh? I'm, uh, I'm assuming the Spina de Rasula as well as which, the Fatui. Kind of smart of you to think of hiding here. Poisson was just involved in a disaster, so it's presently devoid of people. That naturally makes it the best choice. And here you are drinking tea like it's the most natural thing in the world, huh? That's what family should do. Sit and enjoy a leisurely time together. True. <laughs> it's nice to enjoy tea here, you know. Care for a cup? <clears throat> Lend me your Yay. ears, hmm. Or perhaps one of you might like to start us off. How about you, friend? <laughs> uh, 
Me? You're gonna ask the quiet one? No. Good, good call. I don't think I can. Good call. Then, how about you, good sir? Oh, Nouvellet, I damn. I will cause the mood on this boat to become as somber as it is in court. Oh my god. <laughs> Well then, I guess we're lucky we've got a local like me to organize things. Wonderful. The we are missing the name, though. I guess I'll be facilitating hey, my, thank you for the subby. And Mayel, Mayel, thank you for the sub as well. Uh, yeah, again, chat, reminder, the reason we're in sub-only mode is because chat has chosen to spoil. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're in sub-only mode until, uh, uh, we say otherwise. Hey, Clarand? Don't you think? Clarand is also here? <laughs> you might be right. Anyway, to cut to the chase, our friend here, the Traveler, has brought us together to discuss something. As for what that is, well, uh, let's start by saying that we'll be pooling our efforts together to create a series of traps. Traps? Oh, how intriguing. Well, it's just an expression, really. One that I just learned from... Risley is not and leaving the Fortress of Miropide. So, let's invite Miripede. her to explain in detail. A round of applause, please. Huh? Didn't you say that you would be facilitating this? Oh, come now. Your work doesn't involve much public speaking, right? This wow. is a good chance to practice. You might even pick up some fancy oratory tricks to impress your boss with in the future. I see. And what does my boss say? Get to talking. <laughs> he is glad that you consider him your boss. Do go on. Damn. In that case, <clears throat> do any of you have experience hunting? <laughs> Not that I recall. I do. Fremenet and I once used a wooden stick in a basket to catch wild rabbits when we were I've young. I've been hunting Nouvellet for, for, for ages uh, now. Ah, uh, right. You were sick that day, weren't you? Uh, I've also gone diving to catch some fish before. Does that count? Uh, I'm afraid not. You may or may not have heard, but Fontaine once played host to a group known as the Marachaussee Hunters. Though uh, that was oh, yes. Name, they did not hunt animals, but rather various monsters left behind by the ancient dynasty of King Remus. Okay. Today, Fontaine's monster population has already thinned greatly, so the hunters have blended back into society. Fair enough. Taking up arms in other lines of work. They even left a unique methodology of hunting in their wake. A trap comprises of the following components. Bait, a trigger, and a containment device. Sometimes a lethal implement will also be necessary to deal with the prey. So, if we were to build a trap together, right now, what would you choose to build it with? For me, I would prefer something basket-shaped. Pigeons and rabbits will see the bait and naturally enter the snare. Our line of work requires Also, this reminds me of the Sumeru get-together the the when they were so going to save uh, Nahida. On our techniques. That's what you this reminds me of. Those techniques while moving the people of Poisson, didn't you? My subordinates mentioned that you even <laughs> performed some magic for the bawling children. <coughs> yes, and I even managed to gather some intelligence in the meantime. I'm quite the multitasker if I do say so myself. I'm afraid I can't claim that as my strong suit. I prefer more stable methods, like placing bait in the water and waiting for the fish to come within reach. That's the kind of method I would count on. I mean, in court, I feel like that's a good method. Calm and steady. Exactly the kind of person who would catch loads of fish. And I can be their assistant. With discretion, I'm sure. Hmm. I'd probably use some sort of mechanical animal. Papa once bought me some small clockwork mm. squirrels, mice, and such. When placed in the forest, they can attract others of their kind. Oh, a distraction. That you too, didn't you? I did. And that would be a good way to go about it. If they're realistic enough, animals of the same kind will follow them all the way to the trap. Ah, the bait. What about you, Monsieur Nivellet? I fear I do not have any related experience. I might be a dragon, but... That makes sense. The food comes to me. solve problems directly, without the use of any such tricks. But I do have one more question for you, Monsieur. Yes? If we were to create a trap now, how would you design it? 
Hmm. I would like for it to be effective, but bring no harm to the prey. A more gentle trap would be ideal. Hmm. Kind, as always. However, our intention doesn't necessarily change the containment device and the type of implement we need. If we wanted to kill the prey in one strike, we would need a powerful implement. However, that also goes for prey that must be captured and safely contained. Wait, why is that? Howdy, Salt. Only a hunter who's a true expert at subduing their prey can snare it without harming it. The line that divides life and death is often exceedingly thin. Uh, so are we going hunting together? Oh, we are. Huh. We hadn't thought of seeing ourselves as hunters. It kind of works, but maybe it's still not the best metaphor. If our means of capturing and dealing with our prey is to put them on trial, then the hunting metaphor is actually quite accurate. But we shall require much more courage than any hunter to judge a god, a being whose seat is an exalted throne. Hmm, that's right. Man, this really is... Is this going to be the powwow from now on? When we're near the end of the Archon quest for each region, we're going to have a powwow of like... That's right. Oh, so that's what's going on. Sounds very interesting. Probs. Look, I'd read that. Oh, I can actually read this one without you interrupting me? Okay. Claran's hunting metaphor was just that, a metaphor. You will not call this a hunt because that is not what you should do at present, nor has the relationship between you and Farina reached such a dire stage. What you need is simply the secret she is keeping. Attempting to take her secrets is an act of sacrilegious dis uh, disrespect, but must be done to prevent Fontaine from sinking into the waters as foretold in the prophecy. There is neither hunter nor prey, but there must be a trap. That is what you will need. Interesting that I had to read that out. I love how the uh, the game had to remind us. It's like, uh, remember, uh, you're still friends with Farina. <laughs> Later, guys. Thank you for stopping by. <sighs> it's been a tough few days, hasn't it? So much has been happening. Those meetings sure did make me hungry, bro. I feel the same way, which is why I am ordering lunch. But everyone seemed pretty fired up, huh? Yes. Paimon thought they'd be at least a little frightened. Well, Fremenay was, now that Paimon thinks about it. But everyone else just looked a little surprised. Uh, do you feel more confident after the meetings, Paimon? Uh, well... Well? It's hard to say. Paimon doesn't have any experience with this sort of thing. But with you around, Paimon sure will do great. After all, you're the most reliable person in the world, aren't you? <laughs> uh... Huh? Is something wrong? Uh... Did you just pour some tea? Paimon didn't notice you doing that at all! Uh... No, I didn't. Th then what's that? Damn, Damn Farina. That cup of oh, Don't Arlequina. Huh? I'm just joining you two for tea. I merely refrained from saying anything till now. Who the hell? Uh, who's that voice? Uh, is this? There's no one here. The tried magistus? Ah, uh, have you forgotten me already? Yes. Wait, you are familiar. You're the voice we heard from the science. <gasps> oh. Hmm. The voice from the sky. Hmm. I fear that description is wrong, though not completely wrong. Hmm. <sighs> You're feeling lost now, just as you were feeling previously. I sensed that confusion and thus came to you. Guiding people is an irresistible hobby of mine, after all. That's really funny. Um, Who are you and what do you want with us? Mm, consider me a passerby, just accepting a commission from my friend's disciple on a whim. Ah, friend's disciple. So this is one of the friends of Mona's masters. The enigmatic N of the Hexen Circle. Will Fontaine's prophecy come true? The prophecy. Yes, 
What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. You may view such things as the history of the future. Hmm. Hmm. What? Then is there any way we can stop it? Hmm. I believe you have witnessed a failed attempt with your own eyes. Can everything in Tevat so easily be changed? Hmm. There it is again, fate. Can there really be no exception? Ah, so you've caught on. Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods, could things be happening in hidden corners where the gods' gaze does not fall? Are the things that you shall see different from the fate that the gods perceive? Huh. What is she talking about? It all sounds really impressive and important and stuff, but it also sounds kind of scary. The tea in the teacup is just about as gone as well. I believe that you understand, right? Some things are insignificant, but others you must reach out to change. Interesting. Ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide. No matter what will happen in Tavat's future. All you need to do is to play your part. And that is? This was good tea, by the way. Thank you for your <coughs> hospitality. Well, that'll be all for today. And is my part just being a pawn? It's gone. Meijan, is this the clue you're leaving for us? Interesting. When you wake up, someone seems to be outside. Oh, what? I want to hear someone talking. Ah, all right, all right, coming. Uh, you're getting more diligent, Paimon. Hey, it's you who's getting lazy, okay? Well, I see I've walked in on some lively banter. I mean, it's true. Have you been these past few days? Fine, just. Fine. I went to take part in that Steambird panel. It turned out to be more interesting than I expected. Oh. Not all Fontanians are pessimistic about this. One journalist mentioned that sitting around and waiting for the end to come would be wrong, and that they should make their own rescue preparations. I or leave. So we had a brief chat with her. Or leave Fontaine. Uh, did she have pink hair by any chance? Why yes, it was Charlotte. You remember her, right? That daredevil uh. journalist? Ah. Uh. I'm in full support of her view. Ah. Uh. Prophecies are very important, but how can people allow their lives... Oh no, when did she get here? She's been here for a bit. few words. That's right! Uh. I'm glad to hear something sensible for once. Uh. Ah, yes. About what we had discussed before. I did try, but I'm afraid I couldn't reach the old hag. I'll try again tonight, but... I wouldn't get your hopes up. Actually, someone already came over. Huh? I am staying hydrated. You tell Mona about it, you're a mysterious guest. Goodness gracious. Are you serious? I believe she came to pass a message to us. She said that even the god's gaze has blind spots. Pretty bold if you ask Paimon. Hmm. Most people would believe the gods to be all-knowing, right? Now, which gods? Which gods? Are we talking Archons? Or are we talking Heavenly Principles? The Hexen Circle members are certainly anything but ordinary. As for the mage name, hey, I think for the three months. Tag has mentioned her a few times. She said that N's sense of direction is incredible and that she loves guiding those who are lost. Yo, yeah, me. But I've never met her, and if she were still alive, she'd be... <laughs> well, suffice it to say that the hag's at least a few hundred now, and n has been around for longer than that. I'm dropping frames, chat. I'm dropping frames! I'm keeping an eye on the internet. I'm keeping an eye on the internet. If it officially dies, then I'll stop streaming for today. And then I'll keep going out. Uh, I'll keep going tomorrow, but Whoa. I'm keeping an eye. The Hexen Circle sounds like a scary group. 
But they must really stay in shape to live so long. Their abilities alone are pretty terrifying. If she came to see you personally, then the problem you're facing must truly be of great importance. Damn. Well, it's not like Paimon could understand anything she said. Yes, she was quite cryptic, but yeah. I suspect hey, she thank you for the hundred biddies. still a way to turn things around. And Dojo, thank you for the three she months. She didn't say when or what that would be, though, so... Yeah, it's super helpful. Perhaps it is something that you cannot know right now. Hmm. True. Her words were meant as helpful as a helpful hint, but when will we realize their value and meaning? What was the best answer that my question could have gotten? Traveler? Paimon? Are you two all right? Oh, I'm just pondering. Thinking and pondering, oh, pondering and thinking. We're just a little down right now. It kind of feels like the end is coming, you know? I see. I feel that same sense of desperation, too. Oh? I guess you could consider me someone who has often witnessed fate. So far as I have seen, it cannot be swayed. Hmm. But even so, I still Thank you for the biddies. And believe in. Think of the hundred biddies. Astrology is eternal and rational, but fate may not be. It is cruel, but it can also be beautiful. Damn. Perhaps that's what N was trying to tell you. Not to lose heart, and to believe that what you are seeing playing out before you is not yet set in stone. I did originally think of steering clear of all this, but I couldn't. Even if this is all futile, I still wish to help everyone. If we don't struggle to the last, then how can we face the end when it comes? True. You do have a point. <laughs> there I go, talking about astrological principles again. <laughs> Sorry principles? about that. The moment I start talking about work-related stuff. I oh, I need to get going. Don't worry about it, Mona, and thank you. It was worth trying to comfort you, even if only a little. I believe that you'll help those who are struggling in the same way I did. I suppose that might be why we always seem to meet by coincidence. Or by fate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Paimon feels kind of moved by what Mona said. But also kind of sad, too. Hey, Traveler. Paimon suddenly feels like going outside for a walk. Let's go Let's for a walk. City, shall we? There's a few spots we always like to walk by. All right, chat, we're making progress. Uh, before we continue, I do have to go to the restroom again. I'll be right back, chat. I'll be wrong. All right. I'm back. Ah. <sighs> Had to chug a bunch of water. Huh. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, let's go walking and exploring and exploring and walking. Uh, huh? Our names are written in this newspaper. <laughs> Maybe uh, we're famous. Let Paimon see. The underwater stronghold, the Fortress of Meripede, has continued in its noble autonomy, but that does not mean that others cannot interact with it. Okay. My recent attempts to enter the fortress bore little fruit. Huh. Guess Charlotte still hasn't given up on that. Fair enough. Posh, thank you for the subby. Thus, did an Outlander friend become the focus of this report? A blonde adventurer with their white fairy legends trailing in their wake. It is said that this mysterious traveler once visited the underwater fortress. I did, I did do that. The fortress's interior remains a mystery behind closed doors. Do not fear, for the tales of the Traveler contain surprises in spades. Journalist Charlotte's biggest scoop yet. The Traveler's Trail, World Walker. My guy's making a light novel. Charlotte took so many awesome photos of us and we never even noticed her. She hasn't been able to get a hold of anything at the fortress, so since we're easier to find, she's using us at the... I do, Altiger girl. Bed. Hence the title, I'm sick. That sure seems to be the case. Ugh. Those headlines and photos do look cool, so Paimon will forgive her this time. All right. Continue moving forward. Man, they sure are setting up possibly 
some tragic stuff, huh? Bro, I am starving. Sold out for the day? Hell yeah. The last time we tried it, despite the tense situation we were in, let's give it another go. But I'm sure it'll be great. Y'all, let's get it. One slice of cake, please. Oh. <sighs> Someone showed up after all. Oh, wait, you're the one from the Palais Mermonia. There's more. Oh, are you here to buy cake too? <laughs> it seems Mr. I ordered food, chat. I'm waiting you for really it to get to arrive. Eat. Wait, did he really say something like that? That's right. Even he has his own preferences when it comes to food. As for me, I love the cake and coffee here. What did I order? I ordered ramen. It is soup. Mm -hmm. Usually every day. Every day? It's part of my daily schedule, apart from work. I shall have my cake and coffee. Huh. Uh, then what if someone told you one day that this place would be closing soon and you wouldn't get to eat cake here anymore? What would you think? Up. Oh. Up. Oh. My internet. Oh no. My internet. 